Hey doing, it's James here again, just a couple of minutes after that previous video where I showed you, uh, told you the story about the ninja and stuff. It's interesting though, isn't it? I don't know about you, but I find that stuff absolutely fascinating. And by the way, um, I wanted it to be a demonstration of what I'm about to talk about now, but also I want you to know that everything I just told you is the truth, as, as far as I know it in terms of the facts that I have been taught by my teachers and things like that. Now, um, I wanted to talk a little bit in this uh, in this video about envy and emulation and what I want you to do is to first notice how you felt throughout that video because when I'm talking when I'm looking at distance persuasion um, a lot of times I'm not just looking at the end result I want to get it's it's not it's not just the, about the result it's also about how you get to the result as well um, so I want you to just notice how you felt at the end of this video and as you went through it what you were aware of in yourself, okay? And here's the thing, it's just you and me, okay? You're not in front of thousands of people, so your honesty in this and your ability to honestly get in touch with the feelings and the awarenesses and the things you were thinking is key. Remember I said it is incredibly hard to talk about some of these principles because they're unspoken influences. These, are, these lie in a part of our brain that doesn't respond to logic, that doesn't... Uh, kind of respond to to rationalization or anything like that. These are completely irrational drivers beneath us that are always on. And what I sought to do in that previous video was kind of elicit some of them and, and not really elicit them, but just bring them a little bit to the service and kind of tweak them a little bit, okay? Not hugely. I didn't do a, a kind of a big job of it. I just wanted to hopefully make you aware of a few things. Now, if... Um, I'm just going to be, I'm going to kind of try and vocalize about a few of these things to see whether you felt them at all or not. Okay, number one, when I, when I said that, you know, I was going to be talking about something pretty weird, you probably had a degree of curiosity and expectancy. Like when I started saying, oh, and lots of marketers using the word ninja, and I started telling you about it, the whole idea was just to kind of draw you in, okay, and get you kind of thinking and going, hmm, that's interesting. And by the way, I've got like a couple of minutes to talk to you about this, so I'm not going to dig as deep as I would if, if I don't know, you and I were working together or something. But I just want to touch on a few of the things that I was doing. Now, using something that I call implied inference, right at the end of the video, basically, I implied that I was a ninja. And I complete, I didn't even imply it. I left it to you to infer it, okay? And the two are slightly different, okay? It's something I call implied inference, where you're so subtle that it doesn't really register consciously. Your, your, your prospect doesn't just go, hang on a minute, he's trying to be a bit sneaky there. It kind of just bypasses that logical... Um, uh, awareness and it just goes in and one of the things when I talked about the uh, the Sam Yaku is totally true by the way you do only get this if if you know you you are trained or training in ninjutsu okay now I never came out and out and said it. I never said actually I'm a ninja and I train in ninjutsu or anything because let's face it that would be a little bit like yeah well you you would say you know trying to say that isn't very impressive but through implied inference you got that message even if you didn't get it consciously, were you, if you're prepared to sort of be honest with yourself, were you aware that you had that sense that I was obviously part of that a little bit or that I did that, even though I didn't come out and out and say it? Now, you may say no, and that's that's totally fine. Uh, there's no necessarily right answer for this. But here's the thing. I, I Using implied inference, I basically said I was a ninja without saying I'm a ninja. I just showed you a, a, a newsletter, a newsletter, an eight-page newsletter that you get if you study ninjutsu, right? So obviously you're going to draw a conclusion from that. Now the other cool thing is in me telling you about the uh, the kanji here that really was painted by it's one of my most prized possessions. You know, it's like if the house burnt down, it would be, you know, my kids obviously <laughs> make sure Louise is all right. But you know, this would be one of the next you know items that I would want to take with me because I really do believe that. Uh, the boss, as we call him, you know, put something into his painting. So I know that there's something kind of cool in that. Now, you may have felt, and again, this is weird that I'm saying this because no one ever talks to you like this, but I need to be this open so that you, when you can be, a, your ability to be the best persuader you can be comes from acknowledging when you're persuaded. You can't persuade somebody unless you know what persuades you, what persuades them, unless you understand the mechanics of persuasion. That's why some of the best salespeople are also some of the best buyers, okay? So 
you may have been aware that what I was trying to do was actually tweak the emulation button. All right, trying to get you to see that actually that's kind of cool that James has got that, and you know James is a member and he's got the 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 the, the newsletter. You some of you may have had no interest for, and that's fine. Okay, now but you may have thought. Wow, I kind of that's kind of cool. I like that. And that you may have felt that sense of emulation that you would like the same thing. You would like to have that aspect. Uh, uh, you'd like to know what I know about that or whatever it may be. Okay, I don't know what it is for you. What I want you to do, the exercise, is to be aware of it. Okay, because that's how you can then use it. If you are going to use it, I strongly recommend that you use it using what I call implied inference. So you always leave it for your prospects to infer it, for them to draw the conclusion, basically is what I'm saying, so that they draw the conclusion and go, oh wow, rather than ever out and out saying it. You know, I told you that some grandmaster guy had painted some character, I told you the history of the ninja, That was it's quite a compelling history, isn't it? And also I showed you a magazine. That's all I really did. Hopefully if I did that at any degree of skill, you were left thinking that's cool, I, I'd like that. And if I did that at any level, uh, then I used NV and emulation. I used the principle there. But I did it all through implied inference. So I did it through storytelling. I did it through not out and out saying something, but leaving you to draw the conclusion. So think about how you could use that in your business. Um, we got a question on the blog the other day about somebody saying, can you use this with in the corporate world? Absolutely. One of the best ways that I use it in the corporate world is I use implied inference all the time. Rather than out and out saying, oh yes, I work with uh, some of the biggest brands, Hewlett Packard, I, I will do that sometimes. But often I will leave it to be inferred or for my prospects to conclude it based on what else I tell them. Okay. So one way to think about it is you give your message and then you have an intention underneath that message. And then the after effect of both of those things is that your customer gets what you really want to get across. Okay? So another thing might be that, you know, really I want you to think of me, you know, if the purpose of that other video was, I want them to think, God, James is a real ninja. In which case, I tell the story of the history, I show you a magazine that only people who do this stuff can get, and I show you a kanji. You drew the conclusion. Does that make sense? Okay, so hopefully you can go away and, and use that. Please leave me your feedback. I'd love to get your feedback about these videos. There's going to be a couple more in a few days. All right, I'll see you then.